Since 1984, Glenn Fischard has been a staple in Southern Illinois Democratic politics. First elected to the State Senate and then to Congress, Glenn Fischard has led the efforts to improve education and health care for small, impoverished communities throughout America. Glenn Fischard and his wife, Joe founded the Pichard Foundation for Abused Children to help abused and neglected children throughout Illinois. He has served the Democratic Party as a precinct committee person, the vice chair of the Williamson County Democratic Party, state senator, congressman, and the Democratic nominee for governor in 1998. In 2018, Glenn Fischard played a pivotal role in the IDCCA get out the vote efforts in over 60 counties in Illinois. Please welcome to the stage 2019 ID CCA Party Builder Award honoree, former Congressman Glenn Pichard. Fellow Democrats, President Zahorik, Executive Director Kovats, thank you for the tremendous work that you're doing with our great County Chairman's Association. And thank you for this award, for which I am deeply honored to receive. Madam Speaker, and our national and state letter leaders that are assembled here, we're grateful and blessed to have you leading our state and our nation. <laughs> to, my, to my wife, Jo, and our family who are here today, thank you for all the years of knocking on the doors, making the calls, traveling all the miles. We share this honor together. 25 years ago, in the midst of a civil war in Bosnia, 57,000 people lost their lives, fighting over racial, religious, and ethnic differences. As a member of a congressional delegation, I stood in a burned out square in Sarajevo and listened to an old man tell me that his last remaining brother had been killed in this very square a few weeks before. And he said to me, we only trust America. It wasn't America's military might he trusted to save them, not our economic strength. Unlike his country, where people were killing each other over their differences, he knew the story of America. That for two and a quarter centuries, people had come to these shores, different races, different ethnic backgrounds, different religions, and somehow we had chosen to live with each other, not perfectly, but somehow that was a choice that Americans made to each other. To live with our differences and be a united America. And he knew if America could do it, then maybe his country could do it too. And that has been America's story. America's experience held up to the rest of the world. Lincoln's government of the people that has given the world hope until now, until this president. Will we allow the experience of America and what it represents 
to grow dimmer each day to that old man in the burned out square in Sarajevo and others like him around the world? Or will we, Democrats, in the spirit of Speaker Pelosi, will we, in the spirit of Senator Durbin and Senator Duckworth, will we, in the spirit of Governor Pritzker and Lieutenant Governor Stratton and our other state leaders, will we, in the spirit of Speaker Madigan and President Cullerton, will we, in the spirit of President Kerrigan and our great labor leaders, will we rise up to defend our beloved party and our great democracy and elect a Democrat and elect a Democrat as the next president of the United States of America and restore trust in America again. Thank you.